Okay guys, we got the 12 inch Antares here. It's a nice clear night. I just saw one huge satellite and it just crossed a, right through the Northern Cross. Anyway, moon is out right now. Quarter moon, it's very low in the sky. Probably, what is it, like 25 degrees north of the horizon. And, but it's gonna be going through that tree soon. So hopefully it's not gonna bother me too much. Okay, so, you know, after the last video of the Star Hopper and the Star Sense, this is part two. I had the creator of Astro Hopper comment several times on that last video. I wanted to give this another try because I was kind of complexed, perplexed, you know? So this Astro Hopper thing is an app. I, the hell, I've used a few apps in my life, one or two, even though I'm not really tech savvy or app savvy. Why is this perplexing me so much? So I started thinking on the bus, and I started going over, you know, this this thing in my mind. How can I how can I get this thing to work easier? Hmm? So I was delegating many mathematical questions in my head. And on the bus, I came up. Was, I was actually playing with the app, and I was thinking, you know what? I've used many cell phones in my life. I even used a landline in my life. So what is so hard about using this app on this phone that attaches to this telescope? Somehow, something banged in my head. And it's like, wait a minute, I think I understand now. So I'm gonna confirm it today. And why am I talking like this? Okay, anyway, let's get back to the real thing. We're gonna give this another shot. It is super clear out today. I got the flash on right now. That's how you can see me. But uh, again, quarter moon is out. It's really clear. Like I said, I wasn't joking. I actually thought about it. I was playing with it on the bus. And uh, I think now I might have it. And if I do, it might be a game changer. So let's try this out. Let me get an eyepiece and let's do it. Okay guys, let's get this started. So I got the uh, app on, I put the location services on. Now here's what I was working on the bus and what the creator told me, okay? And what I think you guys should do as well. If you live in a light polluted city, like I do, a white zone, a red zone, an orange zone, so that would be an, an eight or nine, a portal zone, uh, even a seven. Um, Go in the settings and turn it down instead of because it's manually set for magnitude six, which is in a dark, dark country sky, right? So just put it down to magnitude three. So that's going to be more realistic to what you're going to see. Also, don't pinch the screen like I was doing. Just make the map small. And I think it, it does work uh, like that. So anyway, let me, I'm going to align on Altar. Now, I'm going to align, altar, search, okay, perfect. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. So, I touched it, it says altar, because now there's not 100 stars on the screen, so putting it to magnitude three does work. So, I'm still aligned on altar. And then I just punched in M57. And I do see, I'm, all, I'm positive that's it. I'm gonna put a little bit stronger eyepiece to confirm. And I'm just gonna turn off the camera for one second. I don't wanna stop the camera so you guys don't think I'm doing something different. But um, I got the flash on so you can see. So I just wanna turn it off so I can see better. Okay guys, so it did find it. So I don't have to align on a new uh, star every single time. So, so far, 
we did uh, M57, it found it. Oh, let me turn this finder off. Okay, so let's go now, M27. M27, and done. So it's saying M27 is, now I'm gonna have to turn off, it should be there. I have to turn off the, or I don't think I'm gonna be able to see. So give me a second, I'm gonna turn off the camera so the light turns off, and hopefully it's dark enough because it's only about 9.30, I think. So let me see. But now I just tried the Hercules and it, it did find it. So it went, I had to scroll it a little. It wasn't dead on, so I had to kind of manually move it, but I'm still set to Altar, right? So it's not like I'm trying to um, align on the brightest star of each constellation now. I'm still stuck on Altar and I'm going to different. 15 done and it's saying I have to go all the way somewhere there now I don't know this last time I saw it fairly bright I can't see now with this light I'm gonna have to turn it off okay guys I did find M15 but it it's not okay so if I align on one star, like Altar, and then I'm jumping around the sky, I'm actually a bit farther out. So it's no longer in the field of view. I have to pan, I don't know. I am probably at least a degree or two away. It's hard. So let me show you on the screen. I'm gonna blow it up now so you can kind of see how far off I am. So just to give you an idea, Okay, so the green circle is where it's located. And so, so I'm not quite right on. So it's about a, a degree or two off. Now in the eyepiece, that can be a little bit of a distance. So again, it did find the Hercules cluster and the M15 type of thing, but it's not dead on. So I'm assuming if you align on a brighter star, that's closer, uh, when you're jumping going further away, it's gonna slightly be a little bit off. Um, now, mind you, it doesn't have like plate solving or that screen, but at least it gets you very close. And if you get a low power, this is a 30 millimeter wide angle. It's actually an ultra wide angle, 84 degree field of view. So I actually have a big field of view, but there it is. I had to pan a little bit. And 27 again. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the phone for a second because I think I see it and the light's bothering me. 11, done. And it's saying, yeah, it's gonna be really low. Over here. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. You know what, guys? Let's go inside and talk. Okay guys, so let's talk about this. So this time it worked much, much better. A couple times when I was looking for like M15 and M13, they weren't in the center of the view. In fact, it wasn't even in the field of view at all. It was still like a one or two degrees away, but I wasn't aligning on a star on every constellation. So that was the good thing. I stuck on Altar and then I just went across the sky. Now, I guess if you go really far, right, it's gonna start to be like one or two degrees off, but at least you're very close. Um, so I would say my conclusion is now that I fully understand and I told you, by, by getting those tips from the creator and by playing with it on the bus, I was, it just clicked in like, okay, I understand what's going on here. I don't know why, but uh, so you don't, the good thing is, because on the previous video, I was saying that if you had to align on a constellation that you can't even see, then how are you gonna find the object, you know? So, you know what, stick to the brightest star, even if you're in a white zone, a Bordeaux zone eight, let's say where I am. I mean, there's still, um, you know, there's still enough stars that if you have a map and a book and a chart, 
you'll you'll know their names so you can align on them and get closer you know what i mean so there is enough that you could do that but i thought like hercules and uh you know certain constellations where it's so dim and you're not going to see them well you can't see anything then but you don't have to you can just use the closest bright star even if it's 25 degrees away in another constellation and it'll zip now i do think that you know the star sense is is still a little bit my preference but this is coming very close to it i mean again for the creator to make something that you don't even need to buy uh like the star sense does cost more the telescope is going to cost more and then you have this docking station uh, type of thing um so here you don't need whatever telescope you have and my preference is a little bit a hair the star sense just because i can touch on the screen and go touch the next thing on the screen um the star hopper you're gonna need to have a good map a good book and a good chart so you can actually choose something and then punch it in the further away you go it might slightly get off but again if you can get to the next brightest star that's closer to there it might be slightly closer but now i understand I think it's a very close second place and you know what guys there's nothing wrong with second place again Celestron probably had a whole group a whole crew of people working on the, the you know the application the um, uh, like how to the plate solving the technology where this this creator didn't okay so coming in let's say at a very close second so now it's not a far away it's very close so that could be you know what maybe if i play with it more i might change my mind again but i'm still a little bit on the star sense and this guy's just shy you know on the plus side of astro hopper okay you like for instance i have two star scents i have to buy two of the cheapest star scents take off that module drill holes into it put it on so now for people that you guys like it you don't even need to do that you don't need to buy a telescope to take out the module then to sell the telescope and then let's say with me when i went to mexico i had to bring the module with me here you don't even need to bring that module you know what i mean just your phone and there you go um so that is one plus on um the astro hopper that far exceeds star sense you don't need that module at all and it's pretty accurate you know pretty close and you can go to different objects from one star i give it two thumbs up okay it is very very close so you guys you know what pick which one you want they're both good but again, I think this gentleman here is going to be well known in the future because he invented something that's very creative. He invented something that you don't even need to download. He invented something that he's not even making money off, that he's just bringing to anyone that has a telescope and wants to have go-to technology without paying anything more. So we got to applaud him on that. It came very close i'm surprised i don't know why it's uh, this third time it just clicked in but i was pretty satisfied with it and uh again just use whichever one you're happy um that's it guys two thumbs up on astro hopper give it a try it might take you a couple times to maybe get the hang of it like me anyway guys like comment and subscribe for you guys that's been with me all this time appreciate it um, if you guys are on the forums and somebody's asked about a video like this, why not uh, why not share my link? I do have members only videos now, which means once a month I put a video just for the members. It is only 99 cents and it's uh, those videos will not be for the public, but for you guys that don't want to subscribe to the members, it's okay. I got over 205 videos that you can check out. Uh, but anyway, why not you and why not?